Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my channel if you have never seen my videos before. If you are not subscribed to my channel, you should totally do that and you should totally turn on the notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload a video. Um, also, make sure you follow me on social media, which is all down below. Um, and so, this week's video is my top 10 favorite songs. As you guys know, I love music and music has always been a huge part of my life. And I wanted to share what my top 10 favorite songs were with you guys. And yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so number 10 is Havana by Camila Cabello. And I love this song so much. Um, I saw it live when I went to Taylor Swift's concert. Um, I'll put in a clip right here. It was so awesome. Camilla was so great and I just really love this song. Yeah, I really like how she sings about, you know, where she's from and I like how she I like the music to it and I like how it's different and it's super like salsa -y. She was like salsa dancing while she was doing it. It was so cool. Um, but yeah, I really like that song. Okay, number nine is Girls Like You by Maroon 5. I love this song. Um, if you have not seen the music video, you really should go watch it. Um, it has all these like really... Um, empowering girls and you probably will recognize so many of them because Camilla is also in that video and it's just so awesome because it's so empowering to girls anyway yeah so I just really like that video and the song and you guys should totally listen to it if you have not okay number eight yeah number eight um, is pray for me by uh, I think it's the weekend featuring Kendrick Lamar or it's yeah, I think that's, yeah. By the weekend featuring Kendrick Lamar. And it is so good. It, like, I think it was for Black Panther that they, like, that the song is part of. Um, and it's just, it's honestly so, like, it's raw and it's really truthful. And it's a good jam. Like, it's a good beat. And um, I think that you should really go listen to it if you have not ever heard it before. Um, number seven is ready for it by taylor swift okay first of all i love taylor swift and like everything she does like literally not even kidding she is everything to me um but i love her music so much and so ready for it is my number seven and i this is the song that she opened with at her concert um i'll put a little clip of it Oh my god. It was just the best thing ever. This song is so awesome. Like, when she first released um, Look What You Made Me Do, I was like, oh gosh, like, this doesn't sound like Bill Taylor at all. Like, I was kind of skeptical. But then she released Ready For It, and I was like, oh my god, I'm in love. I love this song. And so that's all I really listened to for a while. So it's my number seven. Number six is Done For Me by Charlie Puth featuring Kehlani. And guys, I love this song. Like, if you haven't heard his new album, Voice Notes, um, you should definitely go listen to it because I'm not even kidding. I listened to this whole album in speech class and it was so good. Like, it's just, some of the songs are so relatable and it's just, and like, I like his music anyway and I like his voice. So, but if you have not heard the album or done for me, you should really go listen to it. It's such a good song and I love Kehlani and... I love Charlie Puth, and so honestly, it's just, it's pretty great. So I think that you should definitely go listen to that song and his whole album. Okay, number five. 
Um, we are halfway done. So number five is I'm a Mess by Baby Wrexham. And this is one of her newest songs. I think it came out probably not even a week ago. And I love it so much. It's so relatable. And honestly, I listen to songs that are really relatable. Um, just because that's the kind of music I write. So I really listen to songs that are relatable to get some in inspiration. And yeah, and that song is so relatable. Um, it's It really talks about... Um, you know, things that people actually deal with. And so I think that it's just a really good song, so you should totally go listen to it. Okay, number four is One Kiss um, by Calvin Harris featuring Dua Lipa. Um, I just love Dua Lipa, and One Kiss is so good. It's sort of like, not disco-y, but it's sort of like, like kind of, sort of the, I don't know how to say it. It's just like an old vibe, like an old school vibe, and I really like that song. And she's a really great singer, and Calvin Harris is a great um, DJ, so I just love that song, and you should totally go listen to it, um, like I've said for every single song. Okay, number three. Oh my god, guys, we're getting down to number one. Um, anyways, so Dancing With Our Hands Tied by Taylor Swift, also off of her Reputation album, which I love that album. I mean, obviously, I saw it in concert, but seriously, amazing. Amazing! Um, anyway... She sang the acoustic version of it at her concert. such a good song like just honestly go listen to her reputation album if you have not even if you don't like Taylor Swift I think that this is probably her best album yet just because it's so like oh my god like this is really her like this is and it's so relatable like oh my god oh my god it's just don't even get me started that's just the best song okay number two is no Tears Left to Cry by Ariana Grande, and I love that song so much. Yeah. If you haven't listened to it, you need to, because it is so good. Um, I know that she did it after the whole Manchester thing, and she really talked. And it's not a sad song. Like, it sounds like it's going to be a sad song, but it is not. It is bumping, and um, it's just a great song. Really awesome. And my number one, guys, warning you, this is a Taylor Swift song. Just warning you. Because, honestly, I can't get enough of that album. I just can't. I listen to it all the time. Um, but my number one is This Is Why We Can't Have Nice Things by Taylor Swift. You guys. Oh, my God. Don't even get me started on how awesome that song is because it is so awesome. Literally, every time I'm mad at somebody or somebody did something stupid... I literally listen to it and I'm like, oh my god, so relatable. Because it's literally talking about how, like, this is why we can't have nice things because people like you screw all up. <laughs> so it's just such a great song. It's my favorite song. Um, I think I have recordings of it. If I do, I'll put it. That concert was just so awesome. It was like, oh my god. Oh my god, it was so awesome. Um, anyways, so yeah, those are my top 10 favorite songs, but I have some honorable mentions that I want to share with you guys. Um, so my first honorable mention is Die For You by The Weeknd, um, which is on his Starboy album. And it is so, it's just, it's a really like pretty song because it's talking about how you would die for someone 
And I don't know, it's a love song, obviously, but like, I really, really like it. So that's an honorable mention. Um, also, The Light is Coming by Ariana Grande, which she just came out with like a couple days ago. Or actually, it was yesterday. But it depends on when you're watching this. Um, and it is so good because the light is coming and it's gonna give back everything that the darkness stole. Boom, lyrics. Um, yeah, that song is really good. And my other honorable mention is I Did Something Bad, also by Taylor Swift, which that song, I get down on that song. It is so amazing. It's like, yeah, you know. Yeah, it's really great song. She did great. <laughs> So those are my favorite songs you guys should seriously go listen to all these songs i mentioned i recommend them 100 percent yeah even if you don't like some of the artists i mentioned seriously go listen to them because they're actually really good songs and let me know what you think about them if you decide to listen to them thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope you liked it if you did give it a thumbs up and if you like music give it a thumbs up and yeah ah. Uh...